All right, what's up, y'all? We back at the lanes. It's the expert bowler, the expert bowler gaming. But what are we gonna talk about today? Man, we gonna talk about transition. That's what we gonna talk about. We gonna talk about how you adjust for the transition. You wanna keep striking, you wanna strike like the expert bowler, I'm gonna show you how today. Let's go. So as you can see, we here on the lanes. And if you didn't know, if you can see it's shiny right there, not so shiny right there to the left, right? So this is right past the foul line. They apply lane conditions. Oil to the lane. You can see where it begins, right? So here, we figured out this is the defined line where the pattern stops. Let me see if I can show it to you. So this is where the two lane panels meet, right? This is the spot where the actual pattern stops, right? After this spot, they might buff a little, right? But that's pretty much where the pattern stops. So we show that the pattern stops way back there, right? And as you can see, right? That's oil. Let's talk a little bit about what happens when you roll your ball down the lane, right? What happens to the oil? What happens to the ball? How does that affect your shot? So one of the things I'd like to show you is that when you're bowling, you throw your ball down the lane. When your ball goes down the lane, not only does your reactive bowling ball absorb some of that oil, it also displaces that oil to the left, to the right, and further down the lane as carry down. You have to be cognizant of where people are playing on the lane and what's going on with the pattern. Let's see what's going on with the pattern that's out there today. So we threw our ball down the lane and as you can see, we've got these rings of oil, right? Where the ball touched the lane, right? So we've got these rings. It shows where the ball has touched the lane. Now, if you can see, the rings start roughly about here and they end roughly about there. All of them are not wet. Why? Because the ball has absorbed some of that oil. Some parts of the lane don't have that much oil, right? So we're not getting rings. But then you say, Mr. Expert Bowler, how do we know when to move? Now that's a much, much harder question. You really gotta be paying attention to everybody that's bowling on the line, right? So not just where you throw your ball when it's your turn, but where everybody else that's on the lane is throwing their ball when it's their turn. And then you gotta see what their ball does, right? So I know there have been times when we've been bowling league and we're watching the guy stand in his normal spot every week and throw his ball and his ball's not getting back to the pocket. It's not hooking. He's missing the head pin to the right for the right handers or to the left for the lefties. You know what I mean? But then in game two, his ball's getting to the pocket. It might not be striking. What does that mean? That means that the lanes have transitioned. They've broken down. He's worn down along with the other people on the pair, a little groove where now his ball hooks a little earlier, it hooks a little more, and it's getting back to the pocket. What does that mean for you? It means that you have to constantly be re-evaluating the lanes and the lane condition as you ball. We land up, we strike it, we know where we're throwing it, but some guy's playing a little left of us. The shot's starting to break down a little right of us, and we need to make some type of adjustment before we go high. We threw it where, right where we wanted it. Our ball hooked a little too much. Now we got to figure out what do we do? Do we move left? Well, we got a guy throwing surface to the left of us. We got the guy in there. He's throwing surface in there. He's making it difficult for us. His ball's hooking, my ball's hooking. What's he gonna do? He's gonna move left, right? Because that's what he does. He moves left. So can we move left? Maybe one, maybe two. But after we move one or two, we're probably gonna run into him. So let's see. Whoa, 
Oh my God, we moved in and look what happened. We're throwing a ball that should have, that should have hit, that should have struck, right? Typically, you move a little left, move a couple left, your ball pushes freely through the middle, and you strike. But it didn't. Why? Because you got the guy playing left of you, the surface. How do you combat that? Ultimately, you need to be moving before your ball goes high. I know you never heard that before. I know it don't make sense, right? I'm striking, why would I move? Every ball that goes down that lane, adjust that oil pattern. The oil pattern changes every ball, every shot that goes down the lane. You need to be watching how your ball is going through the pins, how your ball is going down the lane. Is it hooking early? Is it burning up and is it stopping? Is it hitting flat down the lane when your ball was driving through, right? These bowling balls today are stronger than ever. So they're eating up the oil on the lane, they're dispersing the oil on the lane. People can play parts of the lane that they didn't used to be able to play. You gotta watch everybody and everything. It's the expert bowler, expert bowler gaming, man, we out.